worried that the timing belt on your car is wearing out? Well then today's your lucky day because I'm going to show you how to change a timing belt on an engine. Now the timing belt connects the bottom of the engine to the top to run the valves and if it breaks your car will stop running. Or even worse if you have an interference engines the pistons will hit the valves bend the valves and destroy your engine. Now to change the timing belt first you got to take the fan belts off. So loosen the nuts then push the alternator down and take the belt off. Then you have to take all the bolts off the timing cover. Then once you get the top cover off, you got to get the bottom cover off too. Now the bottom timing cover is behind the pulley, so you got to take the bolt off that holds the harmonic pulley in. Now sometimes you get lucky and the pulley comes off with your bare hands, but this one's on tight, so you'll need a puller like this to get it off. You install the puller right over the pulley, then make these bolts nice and tight on the bottom that hold it on so it'll pull it off. Then just tighten the pulley to get it off. And off it comes. Then unscrew the bolts that hold the cover on and pull it off. And here's the timing belt in all its glory. Now before you take anything further apart on the timing belt, get some white paint and a little paintbrush and mark all the cogs so you know how they line up. Mark the top of the cam and the backing plate so you know where it lines up. Then mark the crankshaft and the bottom of the engine so you know where it lines. Then loosen the bolt on the tensioner pulley. Uh. Then push down on the pulley with a giant pair of pliers and tighten it up so it stays in a loose position so you can remove the belt. The belt just then slips right off. Here it is. Now if you didn't draw a picture of where your old timing belt went, it's a good idea to have one of these timing belt books. It shows you where they all go. And if your car is more complicated than this Toyota and has a lot of pulleys that need to be lined up correctly, these books will show you which marks go where. Then slip the belt over the cogs so that they're snug. Then loosen the bolt on the tensioner pulley. And as you can see, it's tightened the belt up. And once the belt has tightened itself, put a wrench on and make the bolt nice and snug so the tensioner stays in place. Then put it back in the reverse order that you took it apart. Start with the bottom timing cover, put it back on and install all of its bolts. And of course don't forget to put the harmonic balancer back on. Slide it on so the key is on correctly. Then give it a few taps with a hammer to start it on. Put the bolt in and tighten it up. Now once you put the pulley on, it's a good idea to get a cheater bar and a socket and turn the engine over two complete revolutions. And after you've done that, you can recheck the alignment marks to make sure that the engine's spinning freely and the marks are correct. Then of course put the top cover on and the fan belt. Make sure the fan belt's nice and snug. Then start her up and see how she sounds. Now you know how to change a timing belt. Not that bad of a job, and when you consider what mechanics charge, you might try the next one yourself. And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com and I'll answer them.